Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your weekly advice readings for the week starting October 24th, 2016. Um, this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon and Rising. So as always, please keep in mind these are general readings, so they're not going to apply to everybody watching or not in the same way. You can watch your Moon and Rising sign readings for additional messages um, or of course you can get a private reading. And if you're interested in that or, or to take advantage of the special currently running, the link to my website is in the description box below. For now, try to keep enough in mind and take away the messages that do make sense to you in this general reading. So Taurus, your overall energy of the week is the Strength card. And the Strength card is a major arcana card. Um, and it talks about um, courage. It talks about quiet strength. It talks about determination, consistency. Um, it can represent a Leo person that's going to be significant for you this week, whether in a good way or a bad way. Um, and it can also represent the need for you to show restraint. You may be um, dealing with situations or people that you don't really want to be dealing with this week. However, it's going to be something that you have to do. And so the strength card is just reminding you, think about the long-term picture, okay? Think about the long-term consequences of your actions. Um, and it's saying that you're definitely strong enough to handle whatever comes your way this week. It may be a bit, it may be a bit of a challenging week or a very busy week. Um, and so with the strength card, it's just saying you may not have a lot of time for fun. And it's just going to have to be one of those weeks where you get it done. You just go through the week and you do whatever this is that you have to do and you are consistent, okay? In your career and finances, personal projects, education, we have the Knight of Swords. So the Knight of Swords can represent a difficult person at work. This could be an air sign, a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius, or it could be a, a Leo person. Um, this is someone who's very impulsive and quite a bit malicious, actually. Uh, this could be an impossible colleague or an impossible boss who wants things done yesterday, um, but they're not giving you everything that you need to get the work done, okay, it feels like for some of you. And so with the Knight of Swords and the Strength card, that's just saying there's no point in taking this person head on because they're just going to walk all over you. They're going to run all over you, actually, because they're just not in a good place and they're not open to negotiation. So if at all possible, try to do as much as you can, okay, with the Strength card. Uh, take charge of your emotions and your ego. It may get a little bit bruised this week, but um, just give it a couple of days before you talk to them because I feel like they're not going to be in a good place. They're, they're going to be feeling very combatant and there's no good that can come out of uh, trying to take them head on uh, when the situation occurs. For those of you, the Knight of Swords talks about a really busy week, a lot of stuff happening all at the same time. Uh, with the strength card, I feel like you're going to have to um, keep your head in the game, stay focused, okay, maybe sacrifice some fun time or, or some social times. Um, you may actually have to travel. This is not something you're necessarily comfortable with this week, but it's something that you have to do because it's part of your responsibilities. But overall, it does talk about progress as a result of this. Um, if you're looking for a job, the strength card tells you to... Keep up the good work and keep the hope, keep the faith. With the Knight of Swords, it may be that there's a lot of progress that may happen for you this week. You may be traveling for jobs this week or traveling to go to interviews. And the Knight of Swords is telling you to keep everything professional, to be confident, and let your work speak for itself. When it comes to your home and family, we have the Moon. The Moon is a major arcana card, so... Home and family may be more uh, significantly impacted for you this week. The moon talks about things that are unknown, things that are hidden, coming to the surface this week. I feel like some secrets may be revealed. These secrets may be uh, something that you're not happy about, and they may anger you at some point, okay, with the, with the strength card there. But it's just saying, again, try to think of things in the long run, keep, you know, keep the big picture in mind, and um, show restraint with the strength card and lead by example okay is what they're saying don't try to control people or manipulate them or just get them to do what you want lead by example show grace elegance and quiet strength and i feel like whatever this is is going to come to a peaceful conclusion the moon card can also represent um dealing with secrets or it could be one of those situations where a friend of the family or children 
um, don't talk to you this week or they they're a bit more secretive than usual and the strength card is just telling you there's nothing to worry about it's just a phase they're just going through a phase keep your eye on them but let them be um, don't worry about it and definitely don't try to interfere if they don't want you there and things are going to be okay um, when it comes to your emotional life and love life we have the two of pentacles so with the two of pentacles it talks about a, a need for you to make a choice this week for those of you who are single, I feel like you may be considering, do I stay single or do I ask someone out? Or do I stay single or do I take up um, that person on their invitation? Uh, you may be looking at choosing between a Leo and an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, this week. But I feel like you're definitely going to have a, um, a decision to make. For those of you, this is talking about commitment because we have two infinity symbols in these cards. They're talking about long-term goals, long-term commitments. Um, so you could be looking at, do I marry this person or not? Do I move in with this person or not? Uh, do I really believe this relationship has a future? It's about just being honest and seeing things for what they are. And again, thinking about the long-term consequences of your actions at this time. Um, for those of you, like I say, for those of you who are single, I feel like it's a good week to get out there. Um, be who you are, be confident, meet people. Um, in existing relationships, I do believe this is talking about either taking things to the next level or wondering if a relationship really does have a future. Um, and for those of you, you may be dealing with a bit of a narcissistic partner. And so with the two of pentacles, maybe that's why you're looking at things in terms of does this really have a future? Do I really see myself being happy with this person in the long run? When it comes to your health and well-being, we have the Eight of Swords. So with the Eight of Swords, this talks about feeling a sense of um, restriction or feeling uh, limited, um, feeling like you can't move. Okay, there may be some mobility issues for some of you this week um, or even trouble with your eyesight or a, your general energy level because I feel like um, very low energy okay with these two cards for some of you this week the eight of swords is asking you to see that actually things are not as bad as they seem to look at things for what they are and they're reminding you that you have the strength to get through whatever you need to get through um don't allow yourself to to feel limited don't allow yourself to feel like there's no way to move forward okay with the eight of swords this is also not running away from an issue if you have a question if you have any doubt any concern it's about owning up to it okay being strong being brave and just seeing a doctor about it or talking to someone about it so that they can tell you that actually everything's okay because the message of the eight of swords is that actually things are not what they seem and usually when we see things as being very bad very negative very dark actually it's just our own fear and anxiety that makes it look that way because actually things may be okay or definitely manageable. Um, so there you have it. That's your reading for the week. I hope that it makes sense and I definitely hope that it helps. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I hope you have a wonderful week and I will talk to you soon. Take care.